medicines, who knows, maybe you're going to be a veterinarian. Maybe that's, why, maybe that's why the Spirit is telling me to hold back off so that you wouldn't force yourself in studying the wrong creatures. There's a gift in you. And um, I'm, I'm going to give you this stone because you're going to need it. Because while I'm standing here prophesying to him, I just saw something else. You're going to do something with a horse. And I couldn't figure out, um, have you rode a horse before? Are you trying to do something with a horse or something? No. No. You never had no desires to be around a horse? No. No. Um, the reason why I asked that because um, you're going to get out among nature. Because the Lord said, and this, is, this sounds crazy. It sounds crazy what I'm saying right now, but I got to leave it alone. The Lord says, the earth calls for you. Nature calls for you. You have a call to the wild. And I don't know how this is going to be done, but it looks like you had a house with a ranch. But I saw horses on it. And I don't know why I'm looking at horses. I'm sitting here saying, okay, Lord. Maybe it's just an open field that I'm seeing. Because for some reason, it don't fit in this time. This, you're connected to it. Unless God's getting you ready to go off to a boarding school. Because you're going to be doing something. Because the Lord said the earth calls for you. Nature calls for you. You, you have a lot of questions about plants, about trees, about animals. You are fascinated with nature. And the Lord tells me to tell you that nature is fascinated with you. And that's the word of the Lord. Amen. Isn't it funny y'all come up here and the stone is in my hand? Isn't that just so strange? So just jump up and down and say, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you'll be able to make those moves and they will bless you and those that touch you. Amen, amen. Hmm? Me and my daughter. Where's your daughter at? Oh my God. Well, we already released a breakthrough for your daughter. And your daughter's education. What kind of business are you in? No, oh, wait, I said business. I should have said, what kind of work are you in? But no, you're going to end up having a business. But what kind of work are you doing now? Home health aid. Home and health aid. Because, you know, the Lord says that there's a lot of creativity in you. You can do things with your hands. What is it that you make? It's um, not, not much but making, but it's um, like... I could pick up things and know that this could sell, and I could send it home to Guyana and sell. And sell, yeah, because there's a lot of creativity in you. It's getting ready to leap out of you again, because you're creating a new revenue stream. Whoa. 
God, you have to back your prophet up on that one. You have your paperwork in order? Pretty green, sir. Yes. No, you have to, um, I enter in the visa lottery, so trust the Lord to get you. Because God's going to do a miracle for you. Because I don't know why. I heard the month April. And something about a trip that wanted to be made. And the Lord said he's intervening on your behalf. And that's the word of the Lord. Jesus. My God. Mary, you just sowed and sowed and sowed. If God don't give you a miracle, he's just not God. Amen. But you're going to be a testimony. Because what God is doing for you is expanding you. Expanding and expanding your comfort zones have been disturbed <laughs> since the beginning of this year, but you've seen nothing yet like what's about to appear. That's the word of the Lord. And um, your grandson isn't here today, is he? He's working. Working, and that's a good thing he's working today because of what I'm about to tell you. Um, where there's been some real difficulty, I don't know who his parents are but the Lord says he has closed the gap between you and your grandson and um, the reason why the Lord said he's closing the gap because it's like your grandson is going to become your son and where there's been like that difficulty in the family is getting ready to be erased. Now, what I'm getting ready to say right now is going to, be, it's going to sound crazy. Though everyone in your family is saved, somehow it's going to be you, your covenant, and the covenant of your grandson that's going to really make this thing work. Because the others are going to say, we're not into that and they'll miss out on the blessing. But you and your grandson will share the blessing and it will be a miracle as to how it winds up the way it's going to be. That's the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Okay. How are y'all doing? Y'all gonna sit here and fight over this stone. Because this stone represents, I want both of you to grab it. It represents your future. And the Lord says, Y'all shall live old, ripe ages. Yes. Can you see a hundred years? Because it's yours. If you can see it. A hundred in strength and in everything else. I'm ready to go now. You said you're ready to go now. And I'm here to tell you, well, give me the read, time. What that, read what that stone says. Give me the time. <laughs> it says future. She said she's ready to go now. And God said he has a future in mind for you. How young are you now? I beg your pardon. How young are you now? Eight zero. You're 80. You're not going nowhere.